Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will continue to discuss how you can perform the period over period calculations and dynamically track metrics with period over period changes, such as current year to date versus previous year to date, current quarter to date versus previous quarter to date, and current month to date versus previous month to date, etc., using the Tableau parameters and calculated fields. We will create the period over period calculations using the dynamic period to date aggregation, which we talked about in the last video. If you're not familiar with the period to date aggregation, I will put the link to this video above and also in the description box below. It will help you better understand the period over period calculations, which I will explain next. Now let's go ahead and get started. The period over period calculations mean that we want to compare the performance of a metric in this period versus the last period. In this sales dashboard, we've already known how to create the period-to-date aggregations and dynamically display the sales and revenue metrics for different period-to-date levels, such as year-to-date, quarter-to-date, or month-to-date. To calculate the period-over-period -period changes, we not only need to know the current period-to-date performance, but also want to know the last period-to-date performance. Go to your sheet and create a new calculated field. I call this field Order Date Filter for Last Period-to-Date. In the calculation, I want to restrict the order days to show the last period-to-date values only. Assuming today is December 15, 2020, let's take a look at the case when statement. If the user chooses to view year-to-date, quarter-to-date, month-to-date, or week-to-date, we will set the year, quarter, month, or week of the order date to be the same as the last year, quarter, month, or week, and also restrict all the order days to be less than or equal to the last year, quarter, month, or week from today. You can drop this field to the filters card and set the custom value to true. When you select year to date from the period to date aggregation drop down, the order date label will show 2019 only. When you select quarter to date from the drop down, the period to date label will show Q3 2020, which is the last quarter. When you switch to month to date, the period to date label will show last month to date, which is from November 1st to November 15th. Now we're ready to calculate the period over period changes. We will use the profit metric as an example. We want to create two calculated fields. I call these two fields profit period to date and profit last period to date. In profit for this period to date, I want to put the if else statement and show the profit when the order date filter is set to the current period to date. Similarly, in the profit for last period to date, we want to show the profit metric only when the order date is set to be the last period to date. Create another calculated field called profit period over period change. This metric is basically calculating the percent change of this period to date profit over the last period to date profit. Drag and drop the order date filter for this period to date to the filters card and set the custom value to true. Drop the profit for this period to date to the label mark. Because I also want to highlight the period over period changes in different colors based on positive or negative values, I will need to create metrics to show only the positive or negative period over period changes, like this. Drag and drop both positive and negative profit period over period changes to the text mark. Click to edit the text. Here I show the total period-to-date profit and period-over-period profit change. 
I want to format and highlight the period over period change based on positive or negative values. For example, I can have the period over period change in color green when the percent change is positive and in color red when the percent change is negative. You can show the period over period changes on the map and highlight the countries with positive versus negative period over period growth in total profit. You can toggle between different period to date levels to dynamically change and view the period over period changes in one consolidated dashboard. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.